Welcome. This video will be an overview of the walkback feature available in the RTK Pro. The walkback feature will direct the user to previously collected geospatial locations. Two components are needed to enable this feature. One part is a RTK Pro receiver running the latest software. RTK Pro receivers may be updated via MyLocator 3. Second component is the active VMAP Cloud account with previously collected surveys. To add the walkback point to the RTK Pro locator, start by logging into VMAP Cloud. Open a survey that contains the desired points that would need to walk back to. Once the survey is open, start from the Map tab. On the top left, an option with the slider labeled Display Walkback. Select this to toggle to view the map's points. A list of points collected in the survey job will be displayed below the map. Note, the checkbox next to the number of points contained in the survey. Identify the point to be added to the walkback list and click on the checkbox. When selecting walkback points, the map view will display WB for points that have been selected. Note, as points are selected, the pin animation to assist in identifying the currently selected pin. Once the desired points are selected, an automatic description is assigned. This description can be edited. When all the needed points are selected, click on the Add option on the bottom left. A pop-up window will appear with the option of a drop-down with available RTK Pro serial numbers. Select one or more serial numbers of RTK Pro receivers that would need the walkback points assigned to. Click on the Save button. Now that the walkback points have been assigned in the VM map cloud, it's now possible to use the RTK Pro receiver to walk back to the geospatial location. In the RTK Pro menu, navigate to walkback and enter the sub menu option. At the get list option, Press the enter push button to bring up the list of walkback points allocated to this receiver's serial number from the VMAP cloud. Once the walkback points have been downloaded from the VMAP cloud, these points are displayed in a list by the walkback point description. Scroll to the point needed to walk back to and click on the enter push button. On this screen, the following is displayed. Shows your current latitude, longitude, altitude. Horizontal GNSS accuracy and 2DRMS. The horizontal distance from the locator GNSS antenna to the walkback point. When further from the walkback point and moving, a guidance arrow points towards the walkback point. Follow the guidance arrow to get near the walkback point. Once within 10 feet, a red crosshair icon will be displayed. A spirit level is also displayed. The center of the spirit level represents the location of the GNSS antenna. As you walk toward the walkback point, you aim to get the red cross in the center of the spirit level. Now the GNSSS antenna is over the walkback point. As you tilt the locator to get the GNSS antenna over the locator's foot, you aim to get the spirit level bubble into the center of the spirit level. When you have the locator's foot on the ground and the walkback point, the red cross on the spirit level bubble will be in the center of the spirit level as shown. Use the plus key to log the walkback as complete. This records how accurately the walkback was performed and marks the walkback as complete in the VMAP cloud. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions or need technical support, visit our support page at vxmt.com or contact one of our corporate or local dealer offices found worldwide.